How are you guys? Welcome back. I'm back at it, finally. I've uh, been really busy doing other stuff and uh, I'm finally getting back into doing some work this weekend on it. It's a long weekend. I'll go, I'll go flying tomorrow, but uh, we'll get some work done. So, what I'm doing here, I'm working on the sponsons. And basically it's going to be a main spa i'll put some lightning holes in through here and uh rib configuration pretty much like a wing but attached to the side of the um hole here and uh it's actually going to be i don't know if you can see it but it's going to be a slight angle down to the outside and that's deliberate um what that's um, designed to do is that uh, the buoyancy effect at the tips uh, the force uh, against the water will be slightly higher so that when it's sitting in the in the water uh, it'll be really stable and um, because you've got wings that come out really far and you've got a, a fairly large um, cantilever I want a little bit more pressure on the tip of these sponsons as opposed to um, the pressure back here and uh, hopefully that should give me a lot more stability sitting in the water it will also help uh, with lift so as as i accelerate there's the these are the front ribs here as i accelerate the water is going to hit under that <laughs> Come over this way a bit. Over this way. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. So as I accelerate, uh, the water is actually going to hit here and go underneath. And then there's a step at the back. So it's about uh, it's just under 600 mil wide. So fairly good surface area. Uh, it'll give me a lot of stability uh, in the water. So uh, what I'm doing, bending up, bending up these, this is the rear spar, I've just bent one of them up, so that one bent up. So you can see here is the rear spar, it's got um, slightly different angles, 190 degrees, one about 80 degrees. And that's because of the shape of this rib. That's going to be the end cap and uh, spar, rear spar. So that's going to be mounted to the side of the hull. And then all your ribs will be attached to this. And it'll be sealed at the back. This is basically the step right here. So basically that's how it's going to go. In here at the right angle, I'll set the angle. And then all the ribs in will be joined in exactly like a wing spar basically but just a lot tighter spacings on the um, ribs just because it's going to be a walkway as well so there's going to be for attachment there's going to be a um, extruded angle through here which will be bolted back in through through the hull and it will be bolted through the web there'll be a a web doubler on uh, front and back just to really give it the strength because uh, there's going to be a bit of force on this so that's what I'm getting up to I'll go and bend this one I've just uh, marked out where I want my bend this bend's just going to be a 90 degree bend I'll go on to the bender Just line up my marks. Okay, and then I just pull it up. Pull it up to about 10 degrees over 90. There's a bit of um, 
spring back in all uh, 90 degrees, well, in all bends actually. There's a bit of spring back, so a little bit too far. I can. All right, that's that one done. <laughs> So that's these here. And they're going to go on the side of the hole. What do you reckon? Good? Yeah? Hey. Yeah. Dad. Uh, I thought I'd give you an update. This is what I am up to at the moment. So I'm building the sponson on the side. And as you can see, there's a fair bit of work involved in uh, making all the ribs and uh, all the spars and everything. Yeah. So basically, uh, I've just got the bottom skin. And what I'm going to have to do with this is I'm actually going to have to cut the skin to match this hull. So there's a bit of fiddly work, a bit of fiddling around. There's, uh, I've got two more ribs going in here. I've got them all made here, in, just in the... Uh, sitting in the front but uh, just for now just to keep it uh, to shape so basically what I'm doing is I'm running main front spar and a main and a rear spar there which is a box section uh, I think I've already mentioned here there's a, a uh, plate that comes in through and attaches through to the seat base bar section just for support so obviously it's going to get um, it's going to get a bit of force from underneath hitting the water uh, also walking on it as well so uh, needs to be really solid the back here I've actually got instead of one box section I'm running two so as you as you know um, wherever you laminate stuff, you actually get a stronger um, structure. So instead of just a, a, a 50 or 50 by 25 or two inch by one inch uh, box, I've gone two one inch uh, square hollow section and laminated together. Because this is where people are going to actually step on. So you can walk up onto the actual uh, sponson and, and step in. So I need it, I need it real solid. And I've gone in through here. So this here, this was a cutout in the side of the, the hull. And it's actually gonna mount all the way through. So it carries all the way through into here, uh, which gives it that structure nice solid structure for when you're standing on it and uh, any force underneath because this here is essentially going to be uh, a step here so um, and what I've also done is uh, this is all this is a little bit of trial and error but um, I've actually ran a one degree angle on the sponson going out and what my theory behind that is I don't know if it's going to work but I'll give it a go what my theory is is 
because I've got such big wingspan, there's a fair bit of um, force or a fair bit of cantilever action that can happen. So if I, when it's sitting in the water, these sponsons should be sitting on the water, helping stabilize it and uh, floating. If the tip, this is my theory, if the tip of this sponson is in the water first, it's actually gonna create a slight, ever so slight more buoyancy at the tip than at the end. Um, so it's actually gonna try and prevent it from dipping uh, a little earlier than it would normally. Not by a lot, but um, also you're gonna get some uh, air trap in under there, which might help as well. Um, the other thing it's also gonna do is essentially act like, um, uh, like, almost like a hydroplane setup. I'm not gonna have full drag on the sponsons um, while I'm going through the water. It's gonna help lift it up out of the water. So if you can look at the side here, the water's gonna, so this, this sheet will actually come and curve around. So the water's gonna hit here, help it lift out, up out of the water. And then because of the angle facing out, I'm not gonna be getting as much drag, water drag on here, cause it's only gonna be planing on this tip. Um, if at all. So I've set it, I've set it slightly higher than the step of the boat hull. So that once I get it up out of the water, it should just sit on the step of the boat hull. Um, not on these at all, but if I put it into a corner, this tip of the sponson here will hit the water first, not create massive amounts of drag if the whole lot hits. Um, so that's the theory behind it. Um, all I can do is try, it's worth a shot. Um, the end of here is just going to be a plate to cover that and it will be sealed all the way around. So it'll be a square edge. And uh, yeah, so fingers in crossed. Theory, it should work in theory. It's just, um, it's just a bit of trial and error, I guess. This is why we call it experimental. Um, and uh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna not work. I know that for a fact. It won't not work, but uh, it'll just be how good of an improvement it will be, as, as opposed to just a, a flat bottom. Um, so also, what I've got here, once the top skin goes on, and uh, the front skin, uh, this whole section here will all be completely permanently attached to the hull with a an angle and uh, sealed and riveted through so should be uh, should be really solid so that's where I'm at with it yeah there's a good shot of the angle I've actually got, um, so the other reason why um, I wanted it on an angle, uh, angling out slightly was uh, when I put, I need to put a bung in here for a drain hole for any water that say gets in here. At least if it's on, an, it's on an angle out and I've also got a angle of attack set on it. Um, it the water's always gonna go out to one corner and um, I'll put that's where I'll put the bung as well. So it serves two purposes and uh, yeah, should work well. Yeah, that's, um, that's where we're at. That's where we're at at the moment. I'll see if I can get an angle shot. So they're both gonna be down slightly. And uh, so yeah, still working on it, but uh, only really getting one day a week uh, of actual full on work on it. 
Uh, I don't, and I never have worked during the week. Um, I've got a full time job that I work, and by the time I get home, I don't have time to come out and do anything out here. So, really, it's Saturday. Um, I work on it Sunday. I'm out flying. So, uh, got to have your priorities, right? Got to get some flying in. And, um, yeah. So, I'll try and get these updates um, at, as close together as possible. But, um, with what's tracking at the moment, when you get to the little fiddly jobs, um, yeah really uh, slows up a little bit plus uh, the little monster here keeps you busy so um, if you like these videos hit that like subscribe ring that bell follow along on the build and uh, we will catch you on the next one hopefully not too far away